Good morning, Pamela. This is uh, Bruce at Machine Tools West. And here I'm showing you the basic layout screen in Gradle Style Discovery Level software. Um, I have programmed your nameplate and I've positioned the variable text markers to correspond with where they need to go on the nameplate. So each one of these lines is a variable text. If we click over here on this yellow V for edit variables, here we can type in the information that goes in each of those locations or we can copy and paste that information from an Excel file. Uh, you sent me an Excel file. I modified it slightly. I put the voltage, the amperage, and the hertz in their own columns because those values may possibly change at some time in the future. So what we do is we, we highlight all of this. Well, let's see if I can get it right here. And then we copy it to the clipboard. And then we come back into our program. We select where we want the uh, engraving to begin and we paste it in there. Saves all that retyping. Okay, then we close this. Then we come over here to multi-copy, which lets us define if we want to do them one at a time, we would click here and uh, click the OK check mark. Then that would populate our plates one at a time. And down here at the bottom, we have layer one layer 2, layer 3, layer 4, and it would allow you to clamp the plates in the machine and engrave them one at a time. Because the M40 has a 12 by 8 engraving area, when we come to multi-copy, this shows up here, the engraving area of the machine, and it shows that we could do 369 of these at one time. So if I click the check mark, having selected all nine, then it will lay that out so that it will engrave each of these different nameplates uh, in the location where they are. Now we can just place these plates on the machine and have it engrave them or we could make a fixture that would hold them. We'd probably only be able to do two across and two down because the fixture is going to take some space in between them. But in any event, I think it'll work fine just to set them on the table and engrave them and I'll show you that in the next video.